Hey guys, I'm Rachel and today we are doing a get ready with me a video again because I am about to go to work and I'm I'll be using the Sheila and Colourpop Proceed with Caution palette. I'm featuring this palette today and some of her lippy sticks and um not her lippy sticks, some of her um lip products as well. I just couldn't wait to use this palette. Sheila always does such a good job with um Colourpop. And her collabs and i mentioned that palette this is one of my everyday used palette her first palette perception so let's jump right into me getting ready before i start i know this video will be going up on mother's day so big shout out to all the mothers out there including myself happy mother's day and i hope that you enjoy the day and a very very big shout out to the only mother i've ever known <laughs> lystra abraham i hope you're having a wonderful day just know that i love you loads we may not always see eye to eye, but you know, the love is real. The love is real. So, and whoever sees eye to eye with their parents anyway. <laughs> so anyway, um, my face is probably looking kind of, um, I don't know how to explain it, but I am wearing sunscreen. Hence the reason why it looks the way it does. All right, so let me start off with this primer. It's a sample um, from Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. It's very uh, sort of tacky. This is my like fourth time using it and I like it so far. I've tried the um, Cover FX Gripping Primer and I didn't like that one so much. I don't know if I used it wrong, if I did too much, but I did not like the way it looked by during the day and stuff. I felt like it enlarged in my pores. It's very sticky, it made everything I put over it very sticky. And um, like I said, maybe I used it with I probably would try pairing it with a different foundation something that's more matte and use less to see how it would be but so far i'm definitely going to get the hydro grip milk primer i love it so for foundation i'm using my clinic um beyond perfecting i'm going to mix it with my maybelline matte and polish they're different colors i want to um, darken the clinic one a little bit i feel like it could be darker right now so guys i'm only going to be uploading on sundays i didn't mention that before but for sure i'll be uploading on sundays and here and there when i see the time i will upload a video or two here and there on wednesdays because my schedule sort of changed and the season is changing where i relocated so i am a nail tech and i am a makeup makeup artist so um me relocating i am not servicing more walk-ins together with my appointments because i do work with a lot of appointments so i am working later than i usually do and like i said it's the season is changing so um you have to capitalize on that so i'm in an area where there's more traffic and that's what it is there's no time for me to record two videos because it takes a while to record and to edit and with me working later and things like that i don't have the time to edit my videos as i used to because editing is another thing it takes time so at least i can put out one good video a week and if i see any extra time you know and i i see that i can do one for wednesdays i will but as for now it will totally be just sundays okay now i'm gonna highlight with the l'oreal infallible full wear concealer i've been using this for the past week and I like it it's very full coverage and it's very comparable to the Tarte Shape Tape as well the Tarte one of course is better but this one is great me and my small face it's so difficult for me to blend the center of my face with a sponge because my face is small you may not see it on camera but it's small I feel like I have more control with a brush but my brush or can I find another brush that I can use right now uh, let's see how this brush would work for me right now Mm -hmm. Alright, we're, so we're using the brush. So yeah, so my time is so um it's so limited. I'm trying to like work um put things in perspective and not spread myself too thin because I wanna stay consistent with my uploads. I don't wanna just totally stop. YouTube is something I've been wanting to do forever. So um for me to do it, continue doing it, I have to actually cut back on the amount of videos I'm putting up. 
all sorts of things when I'm home and I'm going to bed extremely late and I can't find the time to wake early because I'm so tired in the morning that I'm not going to the gym before I actually go to work and when I'm done working I don't want to go to the gym because I'm very tired and I love going to the gym because I do see results like I lost 20 pounds I gained 20 I gained back 10 and I'm here I'm like the way I'm looking at it is like okay I'm sort of disappointed that I did gain gain back 10 pounds but the way I'm looking at it is like all right do I want to continue gaining more or do I want to just try to lose what I've lost already and lose some more and that's where I'm at because I do see a difference when I go to the gym I, I do see like in just a week I feel my, my body gets so firm and, and tight that I just don't want to stop it helps me mentally obviously physically and I actually love working out I actually really do love working out when you're using uh, products and you feel like you have way too much on your sponge or your brush I have a towel where I wipe off the excess and go back in to blend or you can use paper towel or whatever the case might be so whenever you feel like you have too much product that's what you can do you just wipe the excess off and go back in with it all right so we're gonna set all that in place with the Ben Nye banana powder so I'm updating you on my life <laughs> here so um I'm off on Sundays and Mondays so I'm gonna use Mondays to record my videos and at least I have a couple days to edit and I'm pretty sure that you know that that's that's manageable for me so that is where we at where my time is concerned because right now it's like 8 30 in the morning I actually woke up extremely early so that I can finish film this video it's Friday and I'll have to have this video up by Sunday with me working so late and it's Mother's Day weekend. So I'm extremely busy also So I'm pretty sure you guys get uh, their drift So since the weather is changing I have a little trick that I do makeup by Mario does this he actually only uses this I'm gonna use my puff and I'm gonna bake where I get oily this is This part my t-zone the puff just allows you to apply like um a nice even layer of your powder and it um it helps to soak up the oil and still something about it does not make underneath my eyes look creepy and exaggerate all the fine lines so that's my extra my tip for the heat that we are about to experience so I'm gonna do my brows off camera and be right back boom brows are done now it's time for this goodness <clears throat> proceed with caution and I'm gonna do a pretty simple eye look today um I really want to use the yellow and this color here warning so that's what we're working with so I'm gonna add this color maintenance with a fluffy a blending brush this is gonna be my transition shade Ooh, and it's very pigmented too so I'm starting at the corner in small circular motions tapping the excess off always and I'm just gonna drag it inwards in windshield wiper motions and when there's hardly anything on my brush is when I'm just gonna use small circular motions to diffuse the edges because that's the only color I'm gonna use as my transition today Ooh, pigment baby smaller blending crease brush and I'm still using that same color but because the brush is smaller and denser it's gonna intensify the color more in my crease because it doesn't have much blending power so you're just gonna pack the color on more you see that so it makes it look darker but it's actually the same color that we're using now I'm taking the color warning oh my god this color is so pretty let's see how it acts without me damping my brush I'm gonna spritz my brush with some setting spray to bring some more of the pigment out Gorgeous! 
I'm taking the same blending brush and just go over the edges with that. Simple does it. So I went off camera to complete the other eye and I must say my finger applied the 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 color way better and no surprise there your finger always applies shimmers and stuff more pigmented than any brush or spritz in your brush with any setting spray will ever do the tea i'm gonna add a wing today and wings are very difficult for me to explain i really cannot explain my wing <laughs> i can only look and the way i'm chatting here it's gonna be extremely difficult and there we have it wing is done and i'm not doing anything today because this is fine for me okay and there we have it my wings are never even because my eyes are not even and you will not know unless i let you know one eye is more hooded than the other so i cannot do my wings the same but you can never tell so i've dusted off the bake time for me to add some color to my face looking like casper over here and i'm using my black radiance contour palette I like using this fan brush because it helps me to gradually build a color and gives me more of a natural looking contour in the end. It's not too harsh. This is perfect for everyday contour for me. Can't forget the jawline. So guys, I have been looking at the games, the Game of Thrones. And I swear it took me up to season four to get into Game of Thrones. It took me so long to like the show and now I totally love it. I'm, I'm like, oh my God, it's so good that I'm done looking at it and I'm up to date with it. I am looking at it again. I'm at season one looking, looking over again. I'm like, shit, I miss that. I miss this. I miss that. And I am understanding it so much more and it's making me love it even more. I cannot believe I am saying this. Let's add some NYX cinnamon blush. So yeah, so I'm in love with Game of Thrones. It took me forever to look at it and I'm a big fan. So if you like me and you're wondering if you should look at it, look at it and continue to look at it. It gets good. It gets great. All right, now, so I'm gonna complete the eye and I'm taking uh, this color, Quashion. And I'm gonna apply this to the inner corners of my eyes and sort of drag it into this color. The maintenance on a flat definer brush. <coughs> and I'm gonna add that underneath my bottom lashes. And then I'm gonna take a different blending brush. This one is really tiny. It's a crown brush with the same color. And I'm gonna buff it off a little bit lower. Just so that the edges are not harsh and that I could bring it lower. This color is everything. Maintenance, it's, hmm. I see myself falling in love with this palette. Now I'm gonna use the yellow and I'm gonna apply this in my waterline. So it would look like if the yellow is coming from my inner corners and into my waterline. Smart, huh? Before I go in with my mascara or anything, I'm going to set my face and I'm using my NOX Matte Finish Setting Spray. Using the Arm Reezy Highlight. When you set your face first before highlight, it just makes it pop even more. And I'm not going too crazy with it, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit and there's nothing wrong with it. And I'm gonna add some of the Shayla and Colourpop Booming Highlight from her first collab. I'm gonna top that over. Ooh. Ooh. This is too much for work. <laughs> yeah, am I gonna work or not? It's Friday. Probably go for drinks after. I'm using lashes today, so I'm gonna apply some mascara. I'm using my this Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, so I'm gonna apply some coats to my top and bottom lashes going to do my lips and I'm using BFF3 then I'm going in with the Sh with, um, Shayla and Colourpop Ultra Satin Lippy in Slow Down 
and this is a good option for those of you who do not like liquid lipsticks they stay pretty well they're not as drying as liquid lips but you still have some longevity from it so i'm gonna apply this blot and i'm gonna go over areas where i feel like it's not even So I added my Kiss Soul Spin number no. three lashes. There are some of my favorite lashes from Kiss. I re-intensified the yellow in the corners of my eyes, and I'm gonna now um, spritz the side of my face with a dewy spray so that I can press everything in. And use my damp beauty sponge and just press all the highlight and everything in so that it meshes well with my skin. That's a step I always do because do you see how it meshes the highlight in my skin? And I do have combination skin, so I do have little dry patches around my mouth and stuff like that. So it helps to just even everything out. And there we have it. The look is So there we have it, guys. The completed look using Shayla Proceed with Caution. Um collab with Colourpop and Holly P6 I use um, also use her highlight so hi if you're new here my name is Rachel welcome to the family please subscribe like comment share all that good stuff it really helps me and it will help me to grow here on YouTube I am a nail technician and a, a makeup artist out here in Brooklyn on my social media everything will be in the description box all the products that I use so thank you so much for the support thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next tutorial on Sunday bye guys